hate the reading idols. He who knoweth the reader doeth nothing more for the reader. Another century of readers, and spirit itself will stink. Everyone being allowed to learn to read ruineth in the long run not only writing but also thinking. Once spirit was gone, then it became man, and now it even becometh populous. He that writeth in blood and proverbs doth not want to be read, but learned by heart. In the mountains the shortest way is from peak to peak, but for that reason thou must have long legs. Proverbs should be peaks, and those spoken to should be big and tall. The atmosphere rare and pure, danger near, and the spirit full of a joyful wickedness. Thus are things well matched. I want to have goblins about me, for I am courageous. The courage which scareth away ghosts, creator, for itself goblins, it wanteth to laugh. I no longer feel in common with you. The very cloud which I see with you, the blackness and the heaviness at which I laugh, this is your thundercloud. You look aloft when you long for exaltation, and I look down because I am exalted. Who among you can at the same time laugh and be exalted? He who climbeth on the highest mountains laugheth at all tragic plays and tragic realities. Courageous, unconcerned, scornful, perversive, so wisdom wisheth us. She is a woman, and ever loveth only a warrior. Ye tell me, life is hard to bear, but for what purpose should ye have your pride in the morning and your resignation in the evening? Life is hard to bear, but do not affect to be so delicate. We are all of us fine, sumpter asses and 